Press conference just wrapping up in the last few moments in Sullivan County. The topic, the Evelyn Boswell case. Prosecutors charging her mother, Megan Boswell, with murder. Reporter Kaylin Cluck is there for us tonight. So, Kaylin, several other charges were filed. So, what do we now know? Right, Bowen Madison. I'm standing here in Blountville in the courtroom where authorities just announced that 19 additional indictments against Megan Boswell have been filed. A grand jury met here today to deliberate additional charges against her. Previously, she had only been in jail since February for false reporting charges, but now we know that Megan has been indicted two counts of felony murder. Other charges include child abuse, neglect, as well as failure to report a death under suspicious circumstances, tampering with evidence, so really a whole slew of new information that we just got moments ago at the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office. Now, members of the TBI were here, as well as the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office officials, and a member of the FBI was here to uh, give an update. And we have a little bit of that press conference here for you now. This afternoon, the grand jury of Sullivan County returned a true bill, a presentment, charging Megan Boswell with a total of 19 counts. There were two counts of felony murder, one in perpetration of aggravated child abuse and one in perpetration of aggravated child neglect. I want to be clear when I say that after an extensive and thorough investigation, other individuals were eliminated as suspects and Megan ba Boswell became the sole suspect in this case. Now, the body of Sullivan County toddler Evelyn Boswell was found in a shed here in Bluntville on family property back in March. Now, I just spoke with Megan's attorney, Brad Sproles. He said that now this case, this prosecution, it could stretch on for years, possibly. And we're certainly going to be giving you updates as new developments come in. But for now, live in Sullivan County, Kaylin Cluck, News Channel 11.